Ethiopia and uh, we are very eager to, to see Mubasa. Okay, I'm recording now. You have a yeah. Wow. So now you have to tell us where we're going tomorrow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have to, to tell you that we are going tomorrow to Mobasa. Yeah. Oh. Uh, to, okay. The journey is starting to from Nairobi to Mobasa. Well, actually, you're leaving from. Oh, we are leaving from Nairobi. No, from Punda Oh, from Punda Media to <laughs> Nairobi. Yeah. Then from there, we shall take. A bus to Mobasa, yeah. which which we shall take it uh, at nine, yeah. at nine p.m. Yeah. and uh, and uh, we shall reach probably we shall reach to Mobasa um, uh, when it day Thursday. Oh, that's the morning. And uh, actually, when we reach there, we shall we shall enjoy a lot. Yeah. And uh, we shall swim. We shall play some some games. Yeah. We shall rest. We shall en enjoy a lot. Have Have you ever been to Mombasa? I have never been to Mombasa. It's my first time to be to go to Mombasa. Yeah. And uh, I'm very happy. And this is something that I have been waiting to to go to Mombasa because this is a place where I have never been. Have you ever seen like the beach or the ocean? No, I have never seen. Have you been to Mombasa? No, I've never been to Mombasa. What I know about Mombasa is only I hear only stories about Mombasa. Yeah. I hear that there is a very long bridge that is about two or three kilometers. Yeah. Then I hear that the water is salty. So Patrick, yeah. um, everyone else has been telling us where we're going tomorrow. Where are we going tomorrow? To Mombasa. Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? <laughs> do you want do you want to say anything else? No. <laughs> Patrick, what what I do you think you'll have to record. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. What do you think you'll see in Mombasa? I can't able to explain because I have ever been there. Do you think um in Pundamilia in this village that many people have been to Mombasa? No, 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 no. Very few. Very few. Yeah, very few. So people. most people have never seen the ocean. Yeah, they have never seen the ocean. They have ever seen coconut tree. They have never seen people enjoying you now <laughs> alongside the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Who yeah. who's going? Okay, we yeah, are going. There is my brothers who are going to accompany us. There is um, Onesmas. Yeah. There is Patrick. And I, John, I'm John, <laughs> I'm John, and uh, all of us we are we are very eager to go to Mobasa, and uh, I don't wake, I don't think whether today night at night we shall able to to sleep because we shall be thinking how the Mobasa will be, <laughs> so I don't think whether we shall able to to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I don't know. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, I know how to. Swim. Are you a good swimmer? Actually, I know how to swim in small, small dams, not in an ocean. Yeah. Yeah. So. But if the water is deep, can you swim? Yes, I can swim. You won't drown. Yeah. <laughs> and have you seen fish before? Like, what if you're swimming in Mombasa and you see fish? Is that okay? No, 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 no. No. Yeah. Are you scared of the fish? No, no, I'm not oh. scared. But I have never seen fish while okay. I'm swimming. I think in Mombasa you can see fish while you're swimming. Big fish or small. And and this afternoon you have to go to the market, right? Yeah, I have to go to the market to take what the what is required to to be there at coast. Yeah, every you have to have a swimsuit. We don't have. Right, so you have to get that. Yeah, we have to go to the market to get those swimsuits. Then you have to have all the requirements that are needed for the trip. <laughs> But you said the people probably don't buy salt there, right? Yeah. Because they. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, the people of I think people of Mobasa they don't, they don't, they don't buy salt when they are, they are cooking because they have to go there in the lake and fetch that water because the water is salt and calm and pour it 
to what they are cooking. Okay. And, uh, they don't have buy salts. Okay. Yeah. And you think that's what they do? Okay. And, uh, Is it a joke, or you think that's probably what they do? Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> I think that's why what they they do. Yeah, because even if even if it's you, if you to find somewhere that you can get something and you are not buying it, you are getting it freely. Yeah. Then you have to go for that something which is free. I mean, it's it's a good theory. So John tells me that he thinks the people cook with the salt water so that they don't have to buy salt. Do you yeah. think that's true? <laughs> very, very true or kind uh, of true? Me too, I think so. You think so? Yeah, that's what I thought. So the, the, the people in that area, there's no need of buying shots they just go there and take the water they make the the food using that water okay and the food will be okay it will taste salty yeah then they have to consume the food that way yeah okay so the ocean is salt water right yeah. john and onesimus think that people in mombasa cook with the salt water yeah. to save money so that they don't have to buy salt do you think that's true? No. You don't? Yeah. So you think that people use regular water and put salt in it? Yeah, they usually buy salt. Yeah? They buy salt. Yeah. So I think when we go to Mombasa, we'll have to ask around because John and Onesimus don't think that's true. Yeah. They think that the people there use the salt water from the ocean yeah. to cook their food. That is not true. <laughs> John Patrick says that's not true. <clears throat> he's not correct because <laughs> actually those people do get for me to say I can say those people do get uh, they do fetch that water so and uh, use them to cook okay. the food okay yeah. and Onesimus thinks so too yes. yeah <laughs> <laughs>